Okay, by the title of this video, it should be no surprise. I talk about limbs pretty much every single time they come out with a new shoe or boot of any type, and this is no exception. Today, we are gonna be talking about my favorite footwear brand or shoe brand, if you will, right up there with Suave's, and that is Lems, and these are the Chelsea boots. Let's get into it. I found this little spinny thing on my recommendation page for Amazon and I got it and I never really get to use it, but this just feels, this feels professional. It feels like I'm at the trade show, like the trade show where it's like, you got these boots here for $50, just call 1-800, I want the boots and you can get, anyways, this is a, why am I doing a bit at the beginning of a video? I don't do bits, we're serious on this channel. We stay on the rails and we do things by the books. And by the books would mean that you need to get on the internet to look at, I was trying to do a segue. This is just all so unhinged. Limbs, Chelsea boots, these are waterproof. I love limbs. I think they make really, really solid boots, especially their Outlander, which are my favorite hiking outdoor boots. They have their Boulder boots, their Chelsea boots, their Primal. They have so many different shoes and limbs is fantastic. All of them are made from great quality and they're all super comfortable. Okay, so like I mentioned at the top, these are the Chelsea boots from Limbs. They come in two different versions. These right here, this darker brown, is going to be your waterproof version, and they have a regular version. The price point isn't that much, and in my personal opinion, I think the waterproof ones are the way to go. Now, when it comes to testing shoes, I like to test them for a while. So I got these when they were like a new release for Limbs, but I've been testing them for a couple months now because I want to make sure that after they're broken in to see how well shoes really hold up. Now, I know that's still like a couple months isn't really enough time to tell whether or not these are gonna hold up, but as opposed to reviewing something like a bag or something like that, where it's more about the nooks and crannies and things of that nature, I like to have ample amount of time to test these boots before I tell you about them, so you know that it's coming from a place of actually testing these and not just looking at them. So with that being said, there are a couple things about these boots that I really like. One thing that I mentioned is that they're like an in-between from your like Lems Boulder boots and then maybe like your regular Suaves that you might wear. These are really good for a couple of things. I like the fact that they're casual enough to pass as Chelsea boots if I wanted to just wear them downtown, out to eat, on date night, traveling, whatever it might be, they work for that. But at the same time, if I wanted to take them somewhere where maybe the terrain might get a little wet or a little rugged or a little dirty, these still hold up really well. There's enough traction on the bottom to use these in the outdoors while still having that look and sleek style that you want of a Chelsea boot to pass for normal everyday wear. Okay, so these are a slip-on shoe. They're pretty easy to get on. There's an elastic bit up near the top, which makes it a little bit easier to stretch that mouth of the shoe open to foot, like kind of slip your foot in there. I found that in terms of slip-ons, they're either too hard to get on or they don't like stay on very well and they're too loose. I found that these do a pretty good job. They're easy to get on and they're honestly pretty solid. Let's talk about the comfort factor. So these are gonna be a zero drop shoe, which personally, all of the shoes I have are pretty much zero drop at this point. There's a lot of benefits to zero drop. I'm not gonna get into that here. There's videos of people that know way more about the benefits and can explain it a lot better than I can, but it's something that I'm a big fan of. And one thing that comes with zero drop is a risk of comfort factor. Now, one thing that the limb shoes never, ever, ever, ever seem to suffer from, I don't know how they do it, but they are always extremely comfortable and these are no exception. Okay, one thing about limbs is that their toe boxes are either a little bit more narrow and then they branch out to being a little bit more wide, kind of going back into those benefits of barefoot shoes. Now, I personally like the wide toe box. I find that a lot of shoes that have narrower toe boxes squeeze my foot and it's uncomfortable, especially if I'm wearing socks. Now, Limbs' shoes like these are mint and can be worn, not to say mint, but can be worn barefoot if you like. Now, I personally take full advantage of that. I know a lot of people think that's gross, stinky, things like that. Hey, to each their own, but a lot of my shoes that I wear are barefoot shoes for that reason. So one thing to keep in mind about these specific ones is they have the wider toe box. It's like the widest one that they offer. So if that's something that kind of like deters you, you're not a big fan of the look, maybe you just don't really care about that kind of stuff, then unfortunately you might not like these because of that wider toe box. And in true limbs fashion, and another reason why I really like them just as a brand overall, is these are really easy to pack. One of the nice things about limbs' shoes is that no matter which ones you get, they are always easy to scrunch away, to pack away. I've taken these on so many trips by just simply folding 
the like top part of it and then just sliding them in my bag and then boom they bounce back and you can see there's no creases there's no wear there's no tear there's no like there's no evidence on these shoes that i've been just absolutely abusing the shit out of them when i travel in terms of how i package them because i want to be able to take them with me i it took me so long to get this set up and i just took that off and put it back on you would never know that was one take you would never know unless i just told you that was so smooth just you need to leave. <laughs> Oh my God, uh, thank you. So last thing I want to hit on is the waterproofness, if that's even a word, on these shoes. Now overall, limbs, when it comes to the waterproof versions of any of the shoes that they offer, it's always really solid and these are no exception. Hey everyone, it's Editor Odie here. And as I was going through this video, I realized that my clip cut off and what I was saying, I didn't get to finish. So I'm going to finish saying what I was going to in the video while you get to look at some awesome B-roll of these shoes being waterproof. So what I was saying about these is that overall, whether it's small puddles, water, unexpected rainstorms, snow, whatever it might be, the waterproofing of these shoes held up phenomenally. If it does get too high up, then it starts to seep in from the top of the shoe, and that no longer becomes a problem with if it's waterproof or not, as much as it is that the shoe really can't do its job if the water's coming from up top. But if you're trying to choose between the regular Chelsea boots and the waterproof version, I personally always like to get the waterproof version of anything because you never know when you might need that, but also the color difference is something to keep in mind as well. Okay, so with all of that, I really like Limbs. I think that these are a really solid boot. Everything that Limbs makes has always been fantastic. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the Chelsea boots from Limbs, let me know in the comments below, and I'll do my very best to answer those for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all of that wonderful nonsense. Thank you guys again so very much for all the love and support you give this channel. It means the absolute world to me, and with all of that, I will see you next time.